Today is a very special day. Today we've been waiting for for a long time. Bath day. <laughs> Shower day. <laughs> Nervous. Oof. God, I feel that's such a massive, massive weight off my shoulders. Good morning. Van. Historic van. We have probably got one of the best moorings we've had in a while. Dockside, next to the bar, next to the centre of town. We were told it was going to be noisy, and it's not. So we're going to explore historic van, find a coffee and a little pastry to start the day, I think. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Wow, this looks lovely. Wow, we really are right in the centre of everything. That's crazy. I know. That's awesome. I know. There you go. Coffee and pastry first. Yeah, okay. It's great that like we're, we're still in France. We're in a very different type of France. Does that make sense? Well, you have a Does, that make... <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, I mean, a different language. That's that's pretty cool. Well, Britain is a distinct area. Don't forget that it used to be that part. A lot of this used to be part of the U, part of England. I know. Yeah, we're going here. Alors, euh, deux cafés au lait. Deux cafés au lait. Et vous avez du vin de vin de vin Croissant. Alors, deux croissants. Merci bien. It's been a while since we've been to a proper town. I'm quite excited. I do actually need some things. I've been looking for a proper camera shop for, well, a long time, since getting back to France, really. And- uh, What's that, my love? Hey? What's that? If I say, then people realize how, like, pathetically amateurish I can be no, sometimes. You're pathetically amateurish. You happen to lose small things. So you lost your lens brush times two. Yeah, so some of you may have picked up, like the more kind of detail oriented of you may have picked up that every now and again, and I try so hard <laughs> to get rid of them. There's like specks on the sensor. You can kind of see it sometimes. There's like little marks on the, on the, in the shot. Um, and I tell you what, when I'm editing the footage and there's marks in the shot, it just breaks my heart. And I do everything I can to um, when I change the lenses because we've got two amazing lenses and I can't bring myself to just like stick one on and leave it because I just love them both so much. But um, I keep on getting little specks on. Merci. There you go, my love. Thank you. Do you know what I would say? What's that? That this is cheap. How much is it for this? Because it with sat, probably the best dock bar you know the view is fantastic we're right next to the dock breakfast well coffee two coffees two pastries six euros yeah now, if you were to go and buy it like a what is it a grande caramel macchiato a starbucks thing yeah you wouldn't you pay twice this oh yeah definitely and that's for takeout in a plastic cup for someone who writes your name wrong in pen they don't write your name wrong they definitely write my name wrong let me tell you that much so point being is that I don't have, I, I, I had a little brush that cleaned the sensor and um, I lost it. And then I had like a microfiber cloth that I like reluctantly used to clean the sensor and I lost that. And um, I'm down to using like, a, a, and people who are into cameras, please don't yell at me. I'm down to using a little like paint brush, like a tiny little paint brush to clean the sensor and it like inside of the, the lens. But point being is that I need to get one of those like puffer things that um, just blow air and it dissipates the dust and yeah. So that's my that's my aim today to get cleaning stuff on my camera. Mission accomplished. Yes. Well done. I'm going to even talk to you about the cost of this thing. Why? How, how much was it? Thirty euros. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now that we had spent practically our entire daily budget on an overpriced camera cleaning tool, we moved on to exploring the stunning medieval city of Van. And it soon became clear that this place was something truly special. So just tell everyone what that sign says. 
Rue of St. Solomon, but it's the 9th century. Yeah, the 9th century bit, really. <laughs> so that's been, this road has been here in some way. I imagine this was a Roman settlement, so it's probably been here a lot longer, but this square is from 1553 to 1610, so it was constructed over 50 years. Love things like this, love the history of it all. Van dates back to pre-Roman times and became a cathedral city in the 5th century. The medieval city developed within the walls of the 13th century ramparts and prospered thanks to its close proximity to the busy harbour. After the 17th century, the town started to spill over into the surrounding areas, and now the entire area is a charming blend of fascinating architecture, beautiful gardens, a bustling harbour, and importantly for us, a great food and bar scene. Oh! <laughs> Wow, what the heck are they? Okay, they're not. They're, they're from not. Wow, they look insane. Kaylee would explode if she were here. She would. Well, she's not, she's in water water. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Kelly. <laughs> back to the boat for a little uh, bit of lunch. I have to say I'm extremely taken with Van. It's just uh, ridiculously charming and beautiful. It's so lovely. I'm glad we're staying here for a few days. I think that this is a good little pit stop on our way back towards the UK. I'm really glad that we came here. Thank you. How good does that look? I think this has to be one of the best slips that we've ever been in. We are literally right in the centre of town. We've got a bar right there, which is great. Uh, we've got loads to look at. I mean, the main promenade is right over there. We haven't been over there yet, but we will. And we've got all these boats in the canal to look at as well, which is really pretty. Yeah, it's a pretty special boat. hard just a little bit of strength training tiny little bit of hit to start me off and then quite a bit of Pilates and stretching to finish up not enough quiet to work up a sweat but just enough to get the muscles nice and warm and nice and working so this is our usual afternoon routine I guess I'm talking softly because Nick is in bed having his afternoon nap he cannot survive without an afternoon nap every single day and I use this time to have some alone time because when you live on a 38 foot boat with one other person uh, you need your own space and your own time every now and again so we kind of have this routine and it keeps both of us quite sane so I use this time to do some exercise and stretching and yoga and uh, then I usually get started with some work, um, do some work in the afternoon. I mean, when Nick gets up, he'll probably do some work as well. We just have some quiet time. And then um, this evening, we kind of start to perk up again. And uh, we're going out for an afternoon drink. that being an anchor is awesome and you won't get any argument from me on that front however there is something really fun about being docked up in the middle of a town like this which obviously you can't get at anchor you can only get in a marina and um, I don't know I just love looking out my window and just seeing all sorts of different things like there's so much to look at from here all sorts of people going about their day I love people watching it's lit I could just sit here all day just watching the world go by it sounds a bit strange but I really could I just love <laughs> I love people watching I just think people are so interesting perfect perfect spot to dock the boat and 
I don't know if you can see because I don't know what the exposure is like but right there the bar is opening so we'll be down there in a few hours time enjoying our evening drink. Good morning everyone welcome to yet another beautiful day in van it is gorgeous today the weather has definitely taken a turn for the better fingers crossed that continues and today is a sunday so things are kind of closed but we're going to go out and just take a walk around town um there's some ramparts that we stumbled across the other day we didn't have the camera with us um that we didn't realize were here when we were filming last time so we're going to go and check out the ramparts and uh, yeah, just have a wander around, soak in the atmosphere and just enjoy the beautiful weather. I've lost Nick, who went downstairs. Hang on, let's, let's go find him. What's in there? like a little walkway past the, down past the stream. A walkway past the stream. Oh, this is very lovely. Today is a very special day. It's a day we've been waiting for for a long time. Bath day! <laughs> Shower day! <laughs> uh, today is a day that we are revealing on the interwebs Ruby Rose 2. And you guys, this video that you're watching right now will be like way in the future, if that makes sense. So today is the 10th of July. And this video is not going to be released until, I don't even know, much later in the year because there's a lag. But anyway, point being is that right now we are waiting for Seawind to go live on their YouTube channel and on their Facebook page um, announcing the 1370. And we, I cannot tell you how hard it's been for us to keep our mouth shut about this. It's been so tough and... Um, I mean, I think that it's fair to say this is probably like the worst kept secret. No, it's, it's the best kept secret. It's brilliant. We've kept it. We've kept it. I feel like it is like everyone, everyone kind of has already guessed this. All of our patrons, we have a WhatsApp group with our, pat our Fudge Roller Nut patrons and they have been like all over it. Um, and they are all currently, I believe, sitting on YouTube waiting for the announcement and they've literally turned the chat like the chat during a live feed i mean this isn't going live for another 35, 35 minutes, minutes. They're all, they're all and there are like the hundreds time. of mess of um comments from our patrons all just having like a chit chat amongst each other so here we are it's half an hour to run until sea wind go live. until sea wind go live with their announcement we're pretty excited actually we don't know what they're going to put out um yeah and then we will drop our video to our patrons about an hour later and then it goes live to the public the next day i'm pretty excited are you excited no, i'm so excited i'm just gonna duck underneath to get my tea. but you know it's been oh, i'm not gonna lie to you putting the video together has been it's been a day it's been a bit of a I mean, last minute i mean we are talking first world problems Ooh, you know putting a video together but it has been we've had to work pretty uh, hard and long hours to get this together in in the time frame that we've managed to get it to yeah uh it was it was all a bit last minute oh. premiere will begin shortly yeah here we go and then a start on half but so you've got three happens and then we're going up in generous space all right our patrons now have our release video we've just uh published that on our patreon page Whew. god I feel that's such a massive, massive weight off my shoulders. I'm excited. 
I'm so glad that that's done. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. This is the blonde. It's very nice. Yeah. How's your beer? Excellent. We're sad to leave this little brewery. I know. It's been our little uh, place. A little, yeah, brewery um, next to the boat. Yeah. nervous. Nick isn't here. He had to go last minute to um, help his friend John out again. I think we've said in previous videos that his friend is nearby and that um, he's working on his, his boat. So Nick's been helping him out. Anyway, point being is that I'm sitting on our boat by myself, <laughs> having just hit the publish button. What a journey that news the news about the 1370 and ruby rose 2 has just been like it's been horrible i've we've hated keeping that secret from everyone you know I, I, we're not good, good at keeping secrets at the best of times you guys probably know that we're very open about like everything um and that that kind of holding stuff back isn't our natural style we're, we're pretty blunt and honest yeah keeping keeping that to ourselves has been really tough and it it, it it's kind of maybe it's not been our natural style because we never intended to, to kind of drag things out for months and months on it and months on end the video has been live for half an hour and i'm just about to see the stats on it i'm nervous i don't want to what i don't want to read any of the comments uh, because i'm just nervous about the reaction still waiting for the stats to come through i think that one aspect of filmmaking and putting our lives on YouTube more specifically that we never thought about before we started a YouTube channel was I guess opening ourselves up to everyone's opinion on the internet and we've gotten much better over the years at um, just laughing off negative comments or just ignoring them um, sometimes we delete them if they're just trolling us or if they're just really rude we just delete them but I am nervous about this because I just hope that everyone's excited yeah okay well unsurprisingly this is our number one ranking video so that's good it's performing well <sighs> time to read the comments okay can't put it off any longer okay comments are good so far so good okay i had 81 comments in half an hour and i'm yet to see a negative one like a weight has lifted from my shoulders. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, I love our followers. I love our audience. They're just the most amazing bunch of people. Okay, I've read all the comments. Not one negative one in the first half an hour. You guys are probably like, why would you get negative comments? But I don't know. I think people are always um, ready to criticize like big decisions like this. So, okay. Oh, good. Get on with my afternoon now. <laughs> So what's for lunch? Galette, savoury pancake. How do we feel about galettes? I don't know, I feel a little bit like a distant cousin I haven't seen in a while. And sometimes I want to see them and then when I see them, I'm sometimes disappointed. But then sometimes I have a right laugh at them <laughs> and end up drinking tequila shots off of some stripper. <laughs> that happens. Senior Frogs, Cancun. With your cousin. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> That's for another time, another, another story. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who may have been to Senior Frogs in Cancun, it, it goes off there. Anyway, <laughs> it kind of goes a little thought bubble of those. No, so we're coming to the end of our time in Van. Um, amazing. Like, amazing, like a really lovely, beautiful medieval town. Um, architecture beautiful, well kept, everyone's polite, friendly, the weather's been superb, we've got the best berth. Oh, we're next to brewery, did I mention that? Yeah, we're next to a microbrewery that does the best beer. And I got to launch my friend's boat, that was good. So I got to, you know, got to help him, which always looks good. 
and then tomorrow we'll head back out of the Gulf of Morbihan uh, towards some of the little French islands um, off the coast and then as soon as the wind turns easterly so we're looking probably to within about five days we will head round and get the tidal the tidal gates done so there's two big tidal gates we need to do one is the Rade Seine which um, is one of the westernmost points of France but the tidal you've got to be there at slack water or you're looking at you know there's some pretty pretty horrendous conditions if you don't because you get a confluence of two bodies of water and then we'll go to Camaray sur mer which I think is famous for some pretty good food we've been there before and then on round into northern Brittany and that amazing sailing ground so yeah so we're coming to the end of our time in South Brittany and we're moving into North Brittany it's been amazing amazing couple of months uh, but you know time and tide and all that and I wish we could stay longer we can't, yeah, but we say that's about everything. Like literally, if we if we stayed as long as we wanted to in every single anchorage that we still that we were in, we wouldn't have left Galicia. We'd still be in northern Spain, uh, where we were in in 2015. Anyway, that's it. That's our episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. We'll see you again soon. Subscribe down there. There's a bell or something. You can click that and see you soon. Bye.